Hey guys, Steve Lacerra here. Today we'll learn how to use a digital multimeter to test a microphone cable. We have a Fluke digital multimeter here and two sets of test leads. One set has probe tips and the other set has alligator clips. And then of course we have a microphone cable. We'll start by connecting one of the alligator leads to the meter. and one of the probe leads to the meter. We'll turn the meter on and set it to continuity beep. The three pins on a microphone cable are numbered one, two, and three. So we'll need to measure continuity for each pin from end to end. We'll also test to make sure there are no shorts between the pins on one end and the pins on the other end. Here are the ends of the microphone cable. We'll take an alligator clip and we'll put it on pin 1 on the XLR male. Then I'll take the probe end and I'll insert it into the hole for pin 1 on the female end. The beeping means we have continuity, which is good. I'll take the probe and put it into the hole for pin 2 and we shouldn't hear anything. That means there's no short between pins 1 and 2. Then I'll move the probe over to pin 3 and we have no continuity. Again, good. I'll take the alligator clip and move it over to pin number 2 on the XLR male. Then I'll take the probe and connect it to pin 2 on the female. We have continuity there. 2 to 1, no continuity, which is good. 2 to 3, no continuity, no shorts, also good. Last, I'll move the alligator clip over to pin 3 on the male XLR. I'll take the probe put it into pin 3 on the female end, and we have continuity. We should have nothing between pin 3 and 2, and nothing between pin 3 and pin 1. There you go. That's how to use a digital multimeter to test a microphone cable.